Hey, welcome back, youth. All right, to another study. Uh, hope you had a um, beautiful day so far. And so now, let's turn to our lesson, study number 23. And remember that we're still on rewarding experience, okay? We just started this new unit uh, last week, okay? Um, we and with the, the, the word that we're going to be focusing on that Apostle Paul um, uses a lot in these um, teachings is rejoice, okay? Rejoice. And these, this word rejoice is not coming out of something always um, comfort or luxury. No, it's coming out of suffering and afflictions. And, but the word rejoice still resonates in, in the mouth and the spirit of this amazing apostle that God called. Uh, okay, so let's do the most important thing and let's ask God to help us Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for this time that you always set aside, God, that we can study your word. God, that we can sit at your table, you being the head, God, and just teaching us, Lord God, and showing us, Lord God, your will and your purpose for our lives, God. God, praying that we can submit, Lord God, to your will, that we can submit to your authority, God, that you can, God, just use our lives for the purpose that you have planned for us, Lord God, and for the youth, Lord God, that they will stay focused, Lord God, on the most important thing, in, in their life, God, and their salvation, Lord God, where they're going to spend eternity, God. So, God, I just ask you, Lord God, to just put the blinders on their eyes that you can blind them from the world, God, and just let them see who you really are, God, and, and, and what you have planned for them. got something special and amazing, God, in the gospel, God. And I just pray, Lord God, that you can grab their attention, Lord God, and just and I hope they can fall in love with you, God, and just love you with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength, Lord God, and just give themselves to you, God, willingly vessels, Lord God, so they can see the fruit, Lord God, that, that you have for them, God, in their life, experiencing good blessings that only come from you, God, because the Bible said that all good and perfect gifts come from above, from the Father of lights, and God, you are truly that Father of life, God, to give good things to your children, God. So help the youth to see that today, God, that you are their friend, that you are their Lord, and that Christ, God, that you're just trying to, God, to bring them into your kingdom, God, so you can just show them all your radiance, God, your essence or your character, which is love, God. God, just pray, God, that you, they will just submit themselves to you, God. So help me teach this word, God. Even for a brief time, God, help me just in, implant something, Lord God, that they can just hold on to and carry them, God, to the next step, okay? God, I just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you. We're still in the book of Philippians, okay? And we've been in chapter 2. We're going to start at verse 19, and it say, But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you shortly, that also may be encouraged when I know your state. Amen. For I have no one like-minded who will sincerely care for your state. For all seek their own, not the things which are of Christ Jesus. But you know he's proven character that as a son with his father, he served me in the gospel. Therefore, I hope to send him at once, as soon as as I see how it goes with me. But I trust in the Lord that I myself shall also come shortly. Yet I consider it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, okay, my brother, fellow worker, and fellow soldier. I love the word soldier. But your messenger and the one who ministered to my needs, since he was longing for you all, and was distressed because you had heard that he was sick. For indeed, he was sick almost unto death. But God had mercy on him, and not only on him, but also on me, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. Therefore, I sent him um, the more eagerly, that when you see him again, you may rejoice. Amen. And I may be blessed sorrowful. Amen. Rejoice. All right. Our memory verse is, for all seek their own and not the things which are of Christ Jesus. Man, we definitely live in that right now today. And our main idea is the Christian experience is evidence in the love and service to others. I want to say that again. The Christian experience is evident by what? 
in the love and service to others. That means you can't be selfish and be a Christian. You can't be thinking only about yourself when you have the spirit of God in the work of service. If service means service, that means serve. You are servant. You be serve others. That's what we are called to do, to serve. We serve the gospel. We serve love. We serve forgiveness. We serve mercy. We serve grace. We serve um, good things. We, 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 that's what we serve, encouragement. Oh, man, we serve prayer to help people. Oh, man, it's when we are servants in the, in, the, in, the, in the vineyard of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are called to serve, not to be served, but to serve. Even God himself came in the form of a baby, which is Christ. And he even said that, no, no, no. I didn't come to be served, but to serve. I came to be a servant. He humbled himself, good God, from, <laughs> from being God to a servant, to serve. He came down to serve. I want to implant that to you, you to serve so you can see and have and know what the fruits are of a real Christian when you see the evidence of their love and their service to the gospel in sincerity, okay, not for self-gain, but to serve that God, Christ, may be glorified, that he may be exhausted, not ourselves, but to serve others that Christ may be lifted up. Very important. Very important. A lot of people are serving to lift themselves up, but we are called to serve in true fellowship, okay? The pastor appreciated our my matter of fact, <laughs> I used to open up the service today and he was and he opened up that we got to be God is looking for true worshipers to worship him in spirit and in truth. For the Father seek such to serve him. Good God to worship him, to love him, to and add all those to man to honor him, to glorify him. The Father seeks that person, man, to serve. The best example of whoever could consent was Jesus Christ. So I thank you. Um, if you hear some a bark in the background, it's, it, it's Cookie. Okay, trying. She she hearing things, but she's not really hearing nothing. Okay, shh, Cookie. Shh. Okay. All right. Now. The three objectives that we're going to come today is to show that the service of Christ is the biggest privilege anybody can reach. And two, to learn that the path of greatness is the service to God and to others. And three, to assess how we are serving in the work of God. Man, that is so beautiful, okay? So, man, youth today, okay, we're talking about service. I mean, Timothy had... Man, when you have a reputation or, or or good testimony, right? That that the apostle can can, can man, he can send you. Do you know what an, an ambassador is? An ambassador is somebody that go in your stead to represent you to the fullness, to the fullness. I mean, it's it's just like you were there, even though you're not there. Okay, you were there, man, and and so whatever the ambassador impose it and or implies or do it just like you was doing it because they're coming in your name you know man and so so timothy was going to be the ambassador for 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 apostle paul because apostle paul was in stocks he was in bond he was in the prison and but he, but he, the ministry it, it can't be bound <laughs> god cannot be bound the word of god cannot be bound the holy spirit cannot be bound by territory, by chain, by fence, by concrete wall, by borders. It can't be bound. God is not in a box. God is uh, omnipresence. He's everywhere at all times. Glory to God. Amen. And so Timothy is going to be Apostle Paul ambassador. And man, and, and he had a good report. Man, a very, 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 and it's important to have a good testimony, youth. I mean, it is your name, it goes a long ways. Trust me, your, your name goes a long way. So when, it, when when Apostle Paul said he was gonna send Timothy, man, he had the quality that nobody was like-minded. He said he and all the brothers, man, that, that converted, that work in the ministry of Apostle Paul, he said, Timothy, this young soldier, young. A young man, no, uh, 
Man, and, and he was training him. Matter of fact, as his son, he called me his son in the gospel. And yet he had this testimony that Apostle Paul said, nobody is like-minded. <laughs> this, this young man is out amazing in Christ. He's amazing. And one, the next thing I, I can assure you of, that he's going to care for your state. He's going to care for you. I mean, sincerely, he's not going to be like a wolf in sheep's clothing. No, 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 no. He said he's going to care for you with the sincerity of the gospel. He's going to, he, 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 he want the best for you, for, the, for your welfare in the gospel. He want to promote you, not demote you. He want to see you progress, not digress. Man, as a young man, <laughs> man, it amazes me. How did your man, and not only that, he was putting himself in danger but it, because Pastor Paul was already in stocks and bonds. He was already in prison. And so this young man took the courage to be an ambassador for him, to be his spokesman, to be his representative. So Pastor Paul, I'm, I want to, I'm going to, uh, basically what he was saying is that I accept your invitation. I'm going to carry, my, I'm going to carry myself worthy of the calling in, the, in, in Christ Jesus. I, I'm going to carry myself that way with dignity. I'm, I'm going to carry myself that glorify God. I'm going to carry myself in the way that, that, that I'm going to bring good testimony, just like you said, that nobody will have offense against you or me and most important of God. Man, a young man with that kind of, uh, with that spirit, whew, brother, you can do it, youth. Youth, I'm telling you, you can, you, you, you can do it. Man, don't you want to have a good testimony before Christ? I mean, that somebody can, can really, like, imprint you, say, hey, I'm a sin. Like God told Satan, he said, have you considered my servant Job? Man, got a good testimony. Man, so, hold it fast to your faith. Even in affliction, we can rejoice. Man, rejoice, rejoice. Even, even, even in, in, in this, I'm going to ask you this, listen to this little story. There was a, a, a couple, you know, some friends going um, to reach the mountain. Okay, they would want to climb a mountain. And the, 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 and, and, and some of the people um, brought mosquito spray and some brought all kinds of things, you know, equipment for survival. Because it's going to take um, about a week's trip, you know, to, to, to go and set up the tent and move a little at a time and get rest. You know, this is a real high mountain, okay? And the mosquitoes start biting and people start complaining and and, and turning back, and, 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 and some of us saw spiders, and they were like, oh, they was all creepy, and some were hearing things in the dark in the night, and, and it just messed their whole trip up, and they couldn't stand it, and, and a lot of them went back, and, and, and some of them didn't go back, they just stayed at that spot and said, y'all go further, I'm not going to move, I can't go, they mosquitoes are biting me, and, but the other ones that knew that, that once they get on top of that mountain, that, 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 that they're, they're going to rejoice, that the joy that accomplishing what they set out to do was going to outweigh the mosquito bites. It was going to outweigh the, 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 the cold weather and the, or the hot weather or, 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 or whatever condition they found themselves in. They knew that they're going to rejoice in that moment. They already saw it before it happened. It's just like the Bible says that Jesus Christ, the, the author and finisher of our faith, for the joy that was set before him, that's how he endured the cross, despising the shame. Now he sat down at the right hand on the throne of God. Isn't that something beautiful? It's the same way Christ, when, when, he, when he was being tempted, when, when, when he was being persecuted, when, he, when trials and tribulation was on every side of him, and he was on the cross, and he was being humiliated. Not one ounce, not one speck, not one millimeter of, 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 of pride was in him, but to do his Father's will. That's what he came to do. He didn't lash out at Pilate. He didn't lash out at the Pharisees and the, that was beating him. He didn't lash out at, at nobody, even Judas, that betrayed him. He called him a friend. He, he didn't even lash out. Why? Because he already knew that the joy that he that was going to, even though he was going through affliction, yes, but the joy that was set before him. <laughs> Man, the, the, he, he saw it. He, the, the, he, he's, he, he already saw the salvation of his brothers and sisters. He already saw that people that were in prison are going to be set free. Those that were bound were going to be liberated. Those that demon possessed were going to be freed and liberated. Man, man, he, he already knew. He already, Jesus knew. That's why he rejoiced. And so that's why, so what, what you mean by the rejoice? 
my apostle Paul rejoiced because he already said it. He already seen God already showed him the end result. We win. <laughs> if you ain't crying, brother, to live in Christ, is Christ. To die is gain. It's like profit. To live is Christ. To live in Christ and Christ live in us. And to die is gain. That means we're going to be in his full glory. In his full presence. Oh my God. That's, so Paul already knew this. That's why he said rejoice. We can rejoice in a time of affliction. We can rejoice in whatever season of life we're in. We can rejoice. Wow. Why? Because we already know the end. <laughs> We already know it. It's already been written. It's already been documented. It can't be changed. It can't be taken away from, and it can't be added unto. It is what it is, the truth in the word of God. We already know what it is, you. So why are you running up and, and chasing something that's, wow, that's, that's vain? Running and chasing something that's leading to death and destruction only for a short temporary time down here, knowing that your, your, your soul is going to eternally live somewhere in the presence of God or out of the presence of God. We should say heaven or hell. Well, let's go ahead and be straight, okay? In blessings or in torment, like the rich man and Lazarus. That's true. That's, a, that's, a, that's not a made-up story. That, that, but that's real, okay? That, that, that's documented for a reason in the Bible, okay? That is real. He was in torment. Lazarus was in the bosom of Abraham in the presence of God. Oh, comforted. That's real, okay? That's real. So, but, so we, we, why are we chasing and putting our attention and, 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 and putting our treasures down here on earthly things that's, that's going to pass away? That's going to be people going to rob and, and break through and, and, and try to steal it and, and the rest going to take it away. Um, the weather is going to damage it or it's going to just wear out just because uh, it's material things. Man, but we should put our affections on the things above Set our eyes on the things above. That the Bible said that the the, 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 the robber, the, 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 the thief cannot come in and steal. That the rust can't can't damage because they are not material things. They are spiritual things that we are putting up. Oh my God! And, 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 <laughs> we are seated together in heaven and places. Apostle, Apostle, we are seated. We always have a seat that Jesus. Even Jesus said, "We have a mansion there. He go for prayer place for us." Man, everything is laid out. The table is laid out. The invitation that the pastor had given us is laid out. The table, he invited us. Christ invited us to his table to eat. But a lot of people had a lot of excuses. And the ones that should have been there, they blamed the one that had excuses. So Jesus told them, go out until the head is in the highway that my table and my house may be full. Somebody's going to accept this gospel. And the one that he thought was going to accept it, that should accept it because they knew the law, didn't accept it. But he said, go to the Gentile. Go in the streets in the corner, in the hoodlums area. Man, to preach the gospel and invite them. Tell them they got a place at my table. You know why you, you got a place at the table? You can rejoice even in afflictions. But you, you can't re rejoice in affliction that you cause for yourself. That, that your bad decision, that your sin um, caused the consequences. You can't rejoice in that. Cause it's, because, it, because it's something that you um, induced because of sin. Oh, but when you're on the battlefield and you, you can glorify God when, when you're preaching the gospel or you're being persecuted for the gospel's sake, that's when you can rejoice. When Paul and Silas in that Roman jail and they and they beat them for preaching the word of God in the name of Jesus, that, oh, man, and, and they saw it in the midnight, they were, were singing songs and praying, and all of a sudden the, the doors of the earthquake came and the prison doors slung open. And, and, and they had a chance to escape, but what? No, 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 it's for the gospel. It wasn't for them to escape. No, it was for, the, it was for all for the glory of God. And, and, and the jailer house got saved. The jailer and his household got saved. But for the gospel, man, for the gospel, for the gospel. I'm telling you, youth, man, come to the table. The invitation is still open. Come to the table today. Today, today, if you hear my voice, said Jesus, harden not your heart. I know you hear his voice, you, okay? Harden not your heart. Let him in. Come to the table and suck with him. And guess what? He will suck with you. God bless you. See you next week.